Now, Washington Mornings on the Mall. At AM 630. WMAL. It is 7.07 on WMAL where Washington comes to talk. I want to mention that uh, there have been some developments this morning in this story about the attacks against our embassy facilities, both in uh, Cairo and in Libya. Uh, a U.S. ambassador has been killed in the attack on the facility in Libya. So it's a good morning to uh, have KT McFarland coming on the show. She will join us this hour, so stay tuned for her analysis of all that. We'll keep you up to date on the latest developments there. I want to start off uh, this hour by talking about uh, an announcement that's going to be make, made out in Cupertino, California later today, uh, where they're going to announce details, apparently, of the new iPhone what many people are calling the iPhone 5. We have on the phone right now, it's not an iPhone, it's just a regular old phone, Eric Zeman with PhoneScoop.com. Eric, how are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? Are you on your iPhone at the moment? Uh, I am, actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to get the the look at the iPhone 5. The, the, uh, the Internet is a Twitter with different ideas about what we're going to see. What do you know about the iPhone 5? What kind of things might we hear from Apple today? Well, I, you know, I don't think there's going to be too many surprises. The, the device is going to look similar to the one that's already available. It's going to be a little taller, have a bigger screen. Uh, most people expect the screen is going to be about four inches, uh, so just a tiny increase. Um, and that's one of the big features that people are asking for, because uh, the iPhone, as it is today, has a three and a half inch screen. And many competing smartphones, you know, they're, they have four, four and a half, five inch screens. So mm-hmm. iPhone's starting to look a little small. Um, it'll of course uh, be uh, compatible with uh, 4G networks in the U.S., and that's the, the fastest form of mobile broadband we have today. Uh, and that's a uh, technology called LTE. That's a big so, deal right there, isn't it? What's that? I said that's a big deal, isn't it? Because that's been the rap against the iPhone. Great phone, but it, it's on a slow system. Yeah, yes, it, definitely. Um, especially with uh, with carriers uh, Sprint and Verizon. Uh, their, their 3G networks just, just aren't up to speed with their 4G ones at all. So it'll be a big improvement, uh, especially uh, for customers of those networks to uh, to get access to the 4G. All right, go ahead. You were talking about the changes. Yep. Um, so there, there's expected to be a, a better camera. It won't be uh, it won't be changed from eight megapixels. It'll still have eight megapixels, but it'll it'll just perform better. It'll have a, a better low light performance and and, and stuff like that. Um, it's expected to be thinner uh, and lighter. Uh, which may not seem possible given how thin and light the, the existing device is, right. but uh, it will be uh, you know just a smaller form factor in terms of uh, of those dimensions, and um, uh, it of course come with the new operating system, which is iOS six, and uh, that will be made available to all iPhones and iPads uh, probably in the next week or two. Uh, but, of course, the iPhone 5 will ship with that. Right. And that includes a lot of new software features uh, that I think uh, people should be excited about. Um, it'll have a new version of the iPhone store, have uh, some better email, um, the uh, the browser will be improved, and uh, just a lot of the um, workings of the settings have been, uh, have been uh, goosed up a bit so that they're more on par with uh, the other smartphone systems that are out there. Any word on an improvement to Siri? I don't have, I have one of the older versions of the iPhone. I don't have Siri. My partner here, Brian Wilson, has Siri. He likes it, but I find Siri to be inac- inadequate. Ma- maddening at times. Missing in in substance. Any word on uh, on an improvement to Siri? Yeah, I think uh, that's going to be one of the big things that we hear today. Um, uh, Apple has already given us a preview of, of the software changes, and they've mentioned that Siri will be improved. And, um, you know, they're going to give it new features. It's going to be able to interact with more parts of the phone rather than just, you know, look up the weather or, or look up movie times. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's the performance that, that we're expecting to, to get a good bump because, yeah, I agree with you guys. I, I've tried it, and I gave up on it a long time ago. It's just uh, it's way faster for me to type searches than it is to yeah. talk to to the phone because it just doesn't get it right. Well, in fairness, Apple always said it was in beta form when it was first released, so they, they always said it was going to get better as they went along. All right, so here's the thing that I'm that a I'm little irritated about. They keep hearing about the fact that they're changing the connector on the iPhone. So if you've got devices that you hook up to your iPhone, like, you know, a boom box or some other thing that you connect your iPhone to, 
the old connectors are not going to fit anymore. That is correct. Yeah, um, you know, reports broke out this morning already. It's going to be called Lightning. This new uh, this new connector, uh, similar to Thunderbolt, that uh, Apple uses on its uh, on its laptop computers. And yeah, it's going to be incompatible. It'll be incompatible with all the uh, the existing uh, adapters and devices and third party bits of gear that that people have probably spent you know hundreds of millions of dollars on sure. over the years. Um, yeah, that's going to be frustrating, no doubt. Uh, of course, Apple will supply an adapter, um, but it won't be as elegant as just dropping your phone in one of those uh, those accessories. Um, who's going to buy this phone? Who goes out and buy these phones? I mean, people who don't have iPhones will be getting into it for the first time, or are these people who have the, the latest one and they'll say, you know what, I just need to upgrade every time? Well, I think we're going to get, you know, uh, the usual set of uh you know, Apple fanatics who are going to run out there and, and buy it on day one. I think we'll see plenty of those, probably several million of those, um, you know, in the U.S. alone. But, you know, it's funny, I, I talking to people around where I am and where I live, uh, a lot of people seem to know about this phone, and uh, I know some, some longtime BlackBerry users that have been specifically waiting for the iPhone 5 to arrive, and I, I think Apple might get some, uh, some new customers. What do you what do you make of the future of BlackBerry and research in motion? Can can they withstand this onslaught of of market share that's being taken by iPhone and by Samsung right now? Boy, I tell you, it's a depressing story over there, and I I, I hope for a happy ending, but uh, it, right now that's just not not very clear. I mean, they're working hard, you know. There's no doubt they're they're giving it their all. It's just taking them too long. And uh, I think by the time the first BlackBerrys show up in January or February next year, there's already going to be tens of millions of people using the new iPhone and, and other new smartphones uh, from Samsung, from LG, from HTC, from other companies. So, you know, of course, what they really need is they need carrier support. They need, you know, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile to sell their devices. And um, those carriers have said they'll support it. So uh, that might be all they need to, to stay in the game for right. now. Uh, and as long as they can produce some compelling devices uh, with software that appeals to people, then hopefully they can stay in the game. All right. Well, listen, Eric Zeman, really appreciate you joining us. We'll be watching to see uh, the official announcement coming from Cupertino, California, a little bit later today. Eric Zeman with PhoneScoop.com. Good to have you on the right, program. Good. Appreciate it. So, Wilson, are you going to be going out till later today to get a new iPhone? Well, they're not going to be out today. It's going to be a couple no, of weeks you, before you they come out. you can't get it for a while. But, I mean, you'll know what it's about. I mean, the first idea is, well, what's in it? Is it worth the upgrade? Uh, do I get enough of the stuff just by upgrading the operating system on my existing phone that I don't need it? Or will it be that be that one feature? I would say the one feature that makes it appealing to me as an early adopter of all Apple things mm -hmm. is is the idea of being on a faster network. But you probably have to pay more for that faster network. Yeah. And so, you know, there there is that you have to mm -hmm. consider. Look, the, I, I, I'm a big iPhone fan, and I, I, I use this one device probably a thousand times a day. Yeah, I do too. By the way, J.P. Morgan's chief economist, says that the iPhone 5 could bounce the GDP, yeah. could grow the GDP by a quarter percent, maybe as much as a half of a percent. I just hope That's it, amazing. I just hope it grows my Apple stock. 